Hi Sagittarius singles, this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and also if you are spying on a Sagittarius. So let's see what we have for the month of September. How are you seeing yourself? Pretty satisfied. You're getting what you want, and maybe it's because you've been very clear with the universe, with God, Allah, Spirit, guides, whatever, about what you want, or with other people. Like, hey, I like you. I want to hump you. Boom, poof, it happens. Hey, lucky. Um, now, you might not be seeing yourself, like, as really sticking to routines as much as you do really as focused on very serious, like, kind of work things that you typically do, but that's okay actually. Um, how are others seeing you? They're not seeing you that way. You're just being your own critic. And it's saying like, you know what? Sometimes things take time. They don't happen as instantly as you want and that's okay. Don't worry about it. Like you're kind of being really balanced. You're kind of like in this awesome place, which is amazing. And everybody's jealous of you, Sagittarius, because this is some tough shit for everybody with the eclipse, with the new moon, with the retrograde, like the all kind of just happen at once. People just lose their minds, but not you. Good. So what should you be avoiding this month in regards to attracting love into your life? <laughs> Avoid forcing yourself and others to make a decision. They're like, you say you're single, but you might kind of be attached to somebody else. Maybe you're not um, official, but are you really single? Let's be real. They're like, you might... Um, kind of be passionate and excited about this more than you're admitting. <laughs> admitting to yourself, admitting to others. But that's not the case for everybody, right? Um, now, others of you. Oh, wait. I want to talk about what we wanted to avoid. Sorry. <laughs> and totally. Um, now, for others of you, though, I'll just finish what I was saying. Um, what you want to avoid is rushing, okay? It's, like, in specific, if you were to rush into, like, making commitments with people that you might meet, like, if it's brand new or you haven't even gotten your first date yet and you're like, oh, my gosh, I love this person. Um, or I'm really excited about this person. I'm just going to date them exclusively. That would be very bad for you um, because they are a very slow-moving person and, um... If you force it, you'll never get to hump them, or at least not again. Okay, but for the rest of you who have, like, no one on the radar, that's what I wanted to talk about. What do you avoid? They say avoid worrying about it, first and foremost. Um, and then they say you're not going to be single for long. So that's an awesome thing to hear. Um, they're like, you've kind of gone through some stuff, and you might have had to hurt some people. You might have been hurt yourself, but it was all for your highest good, these lessons that you learned. So great. Um, what do you need to do in order to grow or increase the chances of bringing love in? And they're like, you know what? When we were talking about, like, the hurt from the past and stuff like that, they're like, look at it. And then remember that a lot of times it was because your enthusiasm and your fire, you're, like, just too quick. All right? You're a fire sign. So, like, try to take things slower. Like, painfully slower. Because if not, it's going to end poorly. Like, you can still have that that passion and fire and excitement. Um, why do you want to rush it for? Like if that just means that it's all going to blow up in your face, don't do that. Right. Um, so they're saying essentially that <clears throat> what you can do is recognize that moving slow is for your highest good, because if you don't, it's going to blow up in flames. And it's not because of who you are. And you just move too fast. And you're flawed. It's just this situation that you're in right now, astrologically, what the other person to, they're like, because sometimes they might be focusing too much on the things that um, went wrong for them. And so they're scared. And you have to recognize that. Not everybody has that fire sign bravery that you do. And so they're like, be really honest with yourself and think about it from that perspective. Like, think about what is it that you wish for? Do you wish to be really excited and passionate about somebody? And then like, try to like really solidify it and say, hey, like, let's just move in together and then have it blow up in your face? Or do you want to actually like just wait a year and then move in together and live your whole life? 
life, like with this awesome person who like really makes you feel enthused and excited and happy to be around them. They're like, think about the long term and be patient in the meantime. And then they just put through a little joke in there like, don't move in. Don't move in with anybody that you meet this month. Like, you can't just like meet somebody and move right in with them. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. What's working for you in the month of September? Um, so if you're somebody who gave up drinking and partying, or you're just like taking a little break from it, you're slowing down on that a little bit, that will work for you. Um, if that was a decision that you consciously made for whatever reason, awesome, awesome. Um, because that's how you're going to find yourself in this position where you end up to not be single, all right? Um, and I don't know what that is about. Like, for every person, it could be different. But, you know, maybe the kind of person who goes out and parties all the time is not the kind of person um, that other people are trying to attract. <laughs> that might be big. Um, what's not working for you? It's like, you know, and maybe what I was saying before, you might kind of feel like, oh, man, I got to tone down my enthusiasm, like, well, then where's my enthusiasm? <laughs> but they're like, trust us, it's for your highest good. Like, you can still, they're like, we're not saying you're selfish to want things, right? You can still have this fun and excitement. It just doesn't have to be so quick. Okay. What's your overall outcome in the month of September? They say the challenge is, um, like, that this cycle will end that you're not going to be in the September energy forever. And so that's kind of sad because <laughs> it's a pretty awesome energy compared to the other signs. Um, but they're saying the overall outcome is that if you give too much too fast, it will be hopeless. However, if you make the decision to just be like really clear and communicate clearly with others, um, that that would be better for you because they have some hurt here. Okay. And so it's not about you. It's not that you go too fast. It's about what they need. And the more that you communicate about that and you make your decisions in accordance to that, the better relationship you're going to have down the road anyway, because they're going to be like, oh, my partner considers me. You know what? Like they really respected me. Like this is what I needed, what I wanted because of my own emotional baggage that had nothing to do with that. And they supported me. And that's how you make a long-term relationship. Yay. Okay. Overall lesson, Sagittarius, for the month of September. Individuality. You're leaving your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Um, I would say, this is going to sound super weird, and I don't know why I got it this way. Because spirits sometimes are like really funny, but this is actually like really serious, but it came to me in a funny way. So I'm sorry if it sounds insensitive because I don't mean to get an STD check because you could be leaving your unique stamp of love on every one you do. Okay. Because that's kind of an asshole move, you know, like, hey, little gonorrhea over here, little syphilis over there, little herpes for you. It's kind of a dick thing. Okay. Here's the other thing. Friendliness. You're able to recognize traits in common with others to forge love-based connections. And that's all what this is about, right? Like when you meet somebody this month, taking it slow, forming those emotional ties first, supporting one another so that it will last for a very long time. I hope you found this helpful. Love and light. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.